Our first guest tonight is an Oscar, Emmy, and Tony-nominated actor you know from films such as Marriage Story, House of Gucci, and the Star Wars franchise. He stars in 65, which is in theaters Friday, March 10th. Please welcome back to the show our friend Adam Driver, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, very, thank very you, thank happy you. to have you here. Yeah, thanks for having me. This is um, uh, this is one of those really fun for all ages blockbusters. I would recommend people see it in the theater. Do you remember the first time you saw one of these movies with your family, where you you got to be a kid and go out and and see one of these really fun things on a big screen? Yeah, my, mine was. Uh... I think Star Trek was the first movie, the, the one where they go to the planet and they think it's a god. You know, oh, I don't, remember, out, I, don't, I don't remember. I think, uh, yeah, I'm they, glad you kept going, because I'm like, I think they yeah, go to a planet in all of them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, think it's a, I think William Shatner directed it. Okay. I think it was like Leonard Nimoy like did the four-ish? one with the whales. Okay, yeah, yeah well, you're right. Nimoy was the whales. And then but... after that, I think he directed the one where you go and they think it's god, and it turns out to be a false prophet. Okay, yeah. gotcha. But I, I This seems it. like very complicated for your first <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my first one. I think I'm getting the dates right. But I was uh, uh, that, that that I remember being the first one I saw in the theater. And do you remember enjoying it? I, I mean, yeah, I had a great yeah. time. I, I watched the show, The Next Generation, with my dad. He oh, was that's very, great. Uh, uh, so I was expecting it to be that. Then I knew the William Shatner show because they did the or the the older one, the the, the originals yeah. uh, series. So I was expecting it to be that, but it wasn't that at all. So it scared. <laughs> <out of it. laughs> right. yeah. No, I'm worried because like. You know, this film, I'm, you know, I, my oldest is almost seven. Mm. And I, we, I feel like I've done a bad job. We haven't shown them enough movies yet, and so they, get, they scare very easily, because yeah. I don't think they yeah. understand the stakes. We were showing them the first Paddington, and <laughs> there's a moment where Paddington has to, I hope I'm not ruining no, I, right? no, I it. No, I see it. <laughs> there's a scene where Paddington has, they like kick him out of the house, and my oldest was like overcome with grief. Uh, and uh. I realized, oh, we haven't taught him that, like, Paddington's... I was like, Paddington's gonna be fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, is this, I mean, uh, is this a film... Have you seen kids see this new film yet? No. Okay. no we, we, I, I invited kids from my building to the, the premiere part of... Uh, uh. of the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... He charged them for tickets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> then I harassed them the whole time if they didn't like it. And they had, they they had a great time. That's great. My dad my dad actually recorded record he showed me, not that this is a non sequitur but he showed me Old Yeller when I was really young and uh -huh. Old Yeller gets shot. Yeah. And they, but then they get another dog. Yeah. But he he would record a tape on you know on the VHS and put the tab over the thing but give it to friends of ours but cut the movie. That's nice. When he shoots the dog yeah. and then give it to people. So <laughs> you never saw that. I remember going. being very upset the first time I saw Old Yeller and taking it out on my parents for not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because and I remember my you know my dad was making the point but you know it's a you know the story is about that like one you can replace a dog and you move on. Right, right. And I was like yeah but it, they didn't have to shoot. Shoot it. You know, like, yeah, right, right, right. There's another version where the dog just gets old. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, they didn't have to go so hard with the rabies, right? Yeah. They, get rabies? they went, they went hard yeah, yeah. at rabies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a trope at the time. It was, a, was yeah. Worried. Rabies was. Remember yeah. simpler times when you that when you were a kid, you were just worried about like rabies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, in this movie, we have like a quicksand sequence, which I remember when I. Yes. Well, maybe I shouldn't say, but when I was a. <laughs> A kid, there was quicksand everywhere. Yes. Quicksand was very popular. Yeah, no, yeah. I think you're right. So that much was... to the point that I was worried that I had to worry about yeah. quicksand when I. And I'm got guessing older. you didn't grow up in a place with a lot of quicksand. No, no, no. Yeah. no. Indiana. Yeah, no, I think, no, 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 no I think they almost. I think they are almost at zero deaths a year from quicksand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Was yeah. that uh, when you shoot a quicksand scene? Is it? I mean, obviously it's not practical quicksand, but I'm assuming you can't CGI quicksand. You got to no, be in no, something. No. Yeah, they put like a bunch of cork particles. So that's what they. Oh, thought. interesting. But it's very nice. It's like very heated. And oh. Very, very... So you're saying this might be are you, ten years from now a spa treatment? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like the quicksand, uh, <laughs> close to death uh, yeah. spa treatment. I did a yeah, I did a quicksand rinse, and I, <laughs> yeah. I look and feel great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. my hair is different. <laughs> Uh, it, it, you know, uh, Jurassic Park, was that a movie you saw? When oh, you were yeah, in? Jurassic yeah. Park was a big one. That's fun. And I think, like, dinosaurs in general, because it's like, you mentioned you watched Star Trek before you went and saw Star Trek, uh, the TV show. And I think the nice thing for kids is, like, they all... Like, you don't have to introduce dinosaurs to them. Like, they just mm -hmm. know dinosaurs. It's so funny right, how right, much right. my kids will just come home and tell me about a new dinosaur. And I remember the same thing, and I'm like, when does... Like, at some point, just other kids on the playground are like, hey, 
Right, right. <laughs> I want to feel, there's a lot of different dinosaurs. That, that actually was going on during the, I, I got this during the first, the first part of the pandemic when everyone was isolated. And yeah. And, and uh, so I was with my family all the time and my son was just telling me every, everything about every dinosaur that, <laughs> I, I knew the basics, T-Rex and everything that was in Jurassic yeah. Park, but apart from that, so, so when I got this and, Obviously, the themes are obvious in relationship to COVID, that everyone's kind of facing this thing that they don't know. It's this you know, invisible kind of thing, but it's also big. It was like dinosaurs and laser guns, and he's into dinosaurs. I'm like, I'm, I'm in, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and then we went, and he kind of, he kind of knew everything. The, the guy was like introducing, like, oh, this is gonna be, might be a little scary, like, don't be scared. He's like, no, he's like a <laughs> Gallimimus, you know? <laughs> You know, uh, Neo Raptor. He was naming everything that uh, he was really into it, but he doesn't want to see the movie because he's going to be, he's too scary. So I really? basically made this thing okay, for him to watch. So he has no interest in watching. Are you, is any part of you worried that the I'm too scared is, a, is just like a cover for the fact that he's just not a huge fan of yours as an actor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I tell him, like, what is that? He, I'm like, oh, we're gonna do movies sometimes. He's like, oh, that's cool. I hate movies. <laughs> he, he, he hates movies. He All does. of his friends want So is it just, like, does he just get anxiety being in a big room? That's what he said. He hates them. He's, yeah. We show, I finally showed him Mary Poppins yeah. as the first movie. He's like, yeah, yeah it's okay. <laughs> And we're like, do you want to watch it, anything else? He's like, no, I'm not interested. Can uh, I, can yeah. I, we also showed our kids uh, Mary Poppins during, uh, can I make, can this I say? Is, this is the original one. I, yeah, I, I, not the, the original for me. Can I oh, make okay, an unpopular yeah. opinion? Uh, yeah, yeah. Could have used a cut, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mary Poppins is a little bit, uh, there's stuff you don't remember from Mary Poppins. <laughs> yeah, it, it's pretty, it's pretty wild, Mary Poppins. It's pretty wild. A, the whole sequence of the guy's laughing, he goes up to the top of yeah. the, the thing. It's terrifying yeah, for kids. Yeah, I think yeah. it's very, or adults. it's very anti-laughter. It's like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, I got a ton more questions. We'll be right, right. back with more from Adam Bradley.